Does your beauty business need a little TLC? Or maybe just a little bit of help getting off your feet? Mm -hmm. Rest assured, you found the right place at last. This is the Beauty Biz Makeover Podcast. Yeah. And here's your host, Al Morenton. Welcome to Beauty Biz Makeover, the place for independent hairstylists, wellness, and beauty pros. Today, I'm going to cover how to get clients from social media. Now, this is something that I see many beauty and wellness pros struggling with. They put a lot of effort into their IG reels, TikTok reels, and don't get a return on that investment of time and effort. And I want to help you guys with that. Okay, so I'm going to cover five things. Um, number one, what clients want, which is super important, right? And then number two, your goals. Number three, what not to do. Number four, what to do. And then number five, some examples in real life, okay? So let's get into the presentation. I'll make this a little bit bigger here so you can see it. All right. So first off, what do clients want, okay? So they basically want, you know, a, a mini vacation, so, but most people, especially moms, you know, working moms, et cetera, they, uh, their life sucks, basically. You know, they're under stress at home. They're under stress at work, you know, constant, you know, people wanting things from them. So when they go to you to get services done, they're looking for a mini vacation. They want to get pampered. They want to get paid attention to. They want to get taken care of. You know, they don't care about any other drama going on everything should be focused on them okay so when, now that we understand that what are your goals as a beauty or wellness pro all right is it to be internet famous to be an influencer or is it to over here get and retain clients make more money save more time and have less stress and that's what i found that you know actual beauty and wellness pros that are working in the industry want you know they it might be worded different ways but at the end of the day you know if you peel back the layers of the onion it gets down to getting getting and retaining clients so you can make more money doing it efficiently so you save more time and then ultimately you have less stress and enjoy your life right so let's get over up to, to what not to post okay so this is very very critical and i see most people posting this way so um, number one is posts that criticize clients. You know, like I see a lot, a lot of IG reels, et cetera, that are, you know, posting things about clients, you know, in you know, various forums that just basically criticize them. You know, they don't want to see that. Remember, they want to get pampered. They want to get taken care of. And they don't want to be have shit talked about them, right? Um, posts complaining about anything, anything in your life, anything that happened at the salon, anything like that, right? Again, clients want to be pampered. They want to be taken care of. Everything about them. Okay. So, third thing on the list is posts made to get likes from other beauty pros. Okay. Um, clients don't care about that. You know, they don't care about whether you get a ton of likes on your posts. They don't care about whether you're impressing other beauty pros. They care about what their experience is going to be when they go to you you know you doing great hair that gets you into the game the experience you provide that five-star experience is what makes you successful okay so and, and then posting the right stuff attracting the right clients etc right so um the fourth thing and this is a big one is posts about politics or world views right never do that right you know this is a, a you know your social media you know, is about business because you're in business and it should be everything reaching towards your goals. You know, these four goals over here, get and retain clients, make more money, save more time, have less stress. Okay. And so the fifth and final thing is any post that does not get you closer to your goals, right? So everything that you post should basically be getting you closer to your goals. Okay. So what to post? Um, the best thing that I've found, you know, and I'm in the wellness industry, I have been since 1987, that I've found is before and after photos or even just after photos, right? 
especially for salons. So before and after photos or just after photos. And I'll go over some, you know, angles and how to do it, whatever, really quickly when I show you some examples, okay? So that's number one. Number two is testimonials and or reviews, all right? So this is something that is super lacking. And if you were to actually post these, you know, testimonials and reviews, written, video, whatever, then um, it'll put you way ahead of the game and get you way more clients. So just posting those two things right there, or even just before and afters, that will get that will greatly and dramatically change the way you get clients and the amount of clients that you do get from social media. Like if you're posting anything on this left hand side on what not to post and you start posting over here on the what to post, you'll see your business dramatically change in a matter of months. OK, so the next thing on the list, this is sort of goes in like the matter of importance kind of a thing, you know, before and afters being number one and getting clients, getting new clients, right? That's, that's what this is all about. Testimonials and reviews, number two. The number three thing would be tips, tricks, strategies that benefit the client, right? Not something you're trying to teach to other hairstylists or beauty wellness pros, you know, to, sh to show your knowledge or whatever and get likes from them give tips tricks and strategies that will help your clients right you know some some at home tips you know to to keep the benefits from the you know from the hair you know style or whatever that you did the massage whatever it is give tips on your service that you provide to your clients that can help them between the time that they see you okay Number four is specials. You know, anytime you have a special going on, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, any kind of thing going on, you know, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to be a discount. Could be, you know, some uh, product, whatever it is. You know, you you could post the post those in your Instagram so your clients will know about it. And then the uh, fifth thing is last minute openings or availability. Now this uh, can be done uh, in a like a systemized fashion to really, really get you uh, booked, you know, get your books filled, right? From uh, current clients and from uh, prospective clients, both. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of a technique and strategy to doing this properly, but it is uh, can get you a lot of new clients and it can fill your books with new or existing clients when openings do come up, okay? So, um, Let's get into a, a couple of examples that I've seen. And I don't want to show any like really bad examples. We've all seen them, you know, the TikTok reels, et cetera, that are just showing the life and the day of a hairstylist and you know the stuff that you go through and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, we're trying to get away from that. So um, I have no idea who this person is. I just you know did a little search on hairstylists, but she's showing basically. You know her clients in you know after pictures a couple of you know like action photos or whatever and some little things with her in there you know uh, just uh here and there but it's mostly either before and after or just after pictures of her clients and then she does you know um put in a little bit about uh you know the, the style that she did or whatever you know to show her expertise and things like that but it's mainly about the client okay so this is a good job right here so um another one that i would like to show you is heather right here so i actually know heather as my girlfriend's niece and she does a fantastic job so i know her i know how much business she has you know i've marketed her salon before etc so um i know exactly you know what her business what her personal book looks like right and it's uh it's filled and she gets clients basically from just doing this mainly after pictures you know one one two or three pictures not reels not anything else just it, it, that's all you basically see on her um instagram right just picture after picture after picture after picture and they have a decent amount of likes but it's all from clients right it, it's crazy she doesn't have a ton of clients it's not in the thousands you know it's a decent amount but you know you know, you know if, if all those people were clients you know she'd be overbooked you know it's be crazy so 
You don't need thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. That's another point to all this. You don't need, you know, clients don't really care about all the followers they have. They're going to go straight to the pictures, see if you have examples, you know, and if it, if you buy, if they vibe with you, right? That's it. You know, before and afters. I, and then um, I'm going to go over here to Mr. Beauty and he uh, sells beauty equipment to salons, barber shops, etc. And he just shows his equipment, you know, just boom, boom, boom. You know, like just shows and shows and shows his equipment and then talks about his equipment and how it could help your salon, your barbershop, et cetera. So he's giving out a bunch of tips and a bunch of things that you could actually use in your salon or, or barbershop to, you know, be successful, et cetera. You know, so he's not doing a bunch of reels on how hard it is or what things he has to go through scheduling time with a salon to get stuff installed or whatever you know whatever he's doing he just shows over and over again you know the the quality of his equipment talks about it a little bit talks about other salons and barber shops that have just put it put their you know this model in their salon etc so it, it's a form of you know showing the after picture you know it's it's what's going into a salon. They had something in there before that's gone. Who cares about? But this is the after picture of it. This is this is this is the after picture of the hair for him, right? So again, you know, we go over here and we see this is what he should be doing, you know, for for um, getting clients on social media. Okay, period. If before and afters, you know, if she had testimonials sprinkled in here as well. It would be even better, right? And and she would she would secure more clients for sure. Okay, so um, let's see here. That's basically it for the examples. So I hope that makes sense to you and uh, will help you to get more clients just by you know posting before and afters, some tips for your clients, and some testimonials. It's just staying away from everything else. Remember everything that you do on your Instagram or your YouTube channel, or your TikTok, whatever, should be focused on getting you clients because that's your goal. You know, it's it's a business and you want to, you know, be comfortable with it. And that's the way to do it by having systems to get and retain clients, you know, and to make more money, save more time, and have less stress. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Beauty Biz Makeover Show. Now I have a question for you. Is your marketing up to the test? To discover your Beauty Biz marketing score, go to beautybizquiz.com and see how you measure up. This is perfect for you if you're a hairstylist, beauty, or wellness pro. It's completely free. The test takes less than 90 seconds, and you get a tailored report at the end. So go ahead and take your marketing makeover test at beautybizquiz.com. This is Al Morenton with Beauty Biz Makeover and Beauty Business in a Box. I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace.